The Denver Botanic Gardens 24 acres feature a whopping 50 gardens for visitors to explore. This expansive facility in downtown Denver's Cheeseman Park treats travelers to a variety of different environments, from a traditional Japanese garden complete with bonsai trees to the South African plaza blooming with exotic plants like asparagus fern and torch lilies. Meanwhile, art aficionados will also appreciate the gardens thanks to the numerous sculptures that grace the grounds. The facility also plays host to touring exhibits that have included works by such artists as Stephen Talaznik and Dale Chihuly. Denver Botanic Gardens features North America's largest collection of plants from cold temperate climates around the world, as well as seven diverse gardens that mostly include plants from Colorado and neighboring states. The world's first Xeriscape demonstration garden was created at the gardens in 1986, and two years later its name was changed to Dryland Mesa. It was based on the seven principles of Xeriscape and includes drought-tolerant plants from the arid west and Mediterranean areas. The Japanese garden is called Shofuen, the Garden of Wind and Pines. It was designed by Koichi Kawana in collaboration with Kai Kuhara. The York Street location of the Botanic Gardens opened Denver's first publicly accessible green roof. The Denver Botanic Gardens also boasts the first conservatory in America that was made entirely of concrete and plexiglass panes, each of which were designed to channel condensation to the sides of the walls so it would not drip on visitors. The Bocher Memorial Tropical Conservatory was awarded landmark status in 1973. If you're feeling a little overwhelmed by all the gardens have to offer, consider tagging along on a guided tour. We want to say the gardens are enjoyable, no matter the season, they are stunning and mesmerizing. We also highly recommend perusing the gift shop. Throughout the year, the Denver Botanic Gardens hosts a variety of festivals, including a summer concert series and a Christmas festival. There is limited free parking available in the gardens parking complex between York and Josephine Streets. Street parking is available in Cheeseman Park or Congress Park. If you don't have your own set of wheels, you can use RTD routes number 24 or number 10 to access the gardens. The Denver Botanic Gardens is open every day from 9 a.m. to 5 or 8 p.m., depending on the season. General admission to the gardens costs $12.50 for adults, $9.50 for seniors, and $9 for students and children ages 3 to 15, kids 2 and younger can enter for free. The Chatfield Gardens are also open every day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., though access will set you back $5 per vehicle. As for the Mount Goliath location, you can visit whenever the Mount Evans Road is open, and you'll need to pay the $10 fee to access the route. To learn more, visit the Denver Botanic Gardens website. Site link and other useful links are given below in description. Thanks for watching so far.